Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Impact 2023. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Praise God. It is such an honor to be here tonight. And I have so much joy in my spirit and so much expectation in my heart. Before we go on, I would like to first of all honor our father, Papa, the Archbishop Duncan Williams. Thank you so much, sir, for having me here. It is an honor and a mark of God's voice. Thank you so much, sir. I'd like to honor everybody in the house. Um, uh, I'd like to honor Lady Rosa Whittaker, Duncan Williams. I honor her. I thank God for her life. I'd like to thank God for all the bishops in the house. They have been gracious. They have been hospitable. And this morning I was saying that of all the places I have traveled to across the world, I have never been to a ministry that I've had the leaders of the house pray over me as much as Action Chapel. For every leader that I talk to, for every leader that I interact with, it always ends with, can we say a prayer over you? And I think that's really powerful. So I want to celebrate all the leaders and all the bishops of this great house. God bless you for the powerful work that you are doing. I thank God for everyone. Please, you may take your seats tonight. Before we go on, I would like to tell you all um, a very brief story of faith. Last year, the Spirit of God asked me to host one of the conferences that I host across the world. It's called the Mantle of Deborah. And as we go on, I'm going to tell you about the gates that the Lord opened um, concerning that mantle in our generation. But the Lord said to me, I want you to have it in Ghana. And there was such a pressure from the Lord to make sure that it happened before the close of 2022. And I, I couldn't understand why, but I told the team, I said, we have just three weeks to go. We have to make it happen. And when I came to Ghana for that conference, after that conference, the Lord began to speak about Papa. And before I go now, I want you all to know I'm an alumni of Legon Campus. I attended the University of Ghana, so I'm no stranger to Ghana. As a matter of fact, my spiritual DNA is rooted in this land. It was in Ghana I learned intercession. It was in Ghana I understood how to handle the word of the Lord. It was in Ghana I grew in faith and understanding on how to shepherd. So this is my land. This is my nation. This is my land. And while I was in school, we used to come here to Action Chapel and I would sit somewhere, somewhere, somewhere and we would learn how to pray and lift up our voices and call on God. And I didn't know that many years later, I would be standing here. But that cycle was about to come into a summit last year when the Lord said to me after our conference and he began to say, you know, we should find a way to see Papa. And a member of my team said, I can, I can find a way to get you behind the scenes, behind the scene, behind the scene so that you can say hello to him. And that was how we took a seed as instructed by the Lord. And he does not remember, nobody here, none of the leadership remembers, but I do because it was a mark in my spiritual journey. And I remember that Sunday after service, they found a way to get me to the back, to the back, to the back, and I was able to greet our bishop. And I remember kneeling down in front of him and they said, why are you here? I said, we had a conference. He said, great, how did it go? And I told him, and I knelt down and I gave him the seed and he prayed for me and he said, let the seed that you have given by faith be what breaks you open to the next level of your ministry. <laughs> Honestly, I remember getting up from there and I said, Lord, I believe. Exactly one year later, I am standing here. At that moment, I did not know what God was trying to do. But I believe that when I knelt down and gave that seed, it was a season of an open door. And as he spoke the word, it provoked something in the realm of the spirit that resulted in a spiral effect in my life and ministry. And I believe that today the Lord indeed is speaking about a consistent opening of that door that he began last year, December. 
So I want to thank you, sir, for the great word of declaration and the prayer. And even though you did not know me, but you knew me by the spirit and provoked something out of my spirit and out of my calling. And I thank you, sir, because I am walking in the acceleration of the things that you spoke about last year.